Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to Heartstopper Season 2, Episode 5. I'm very excited to watch this. Um, only a few episodes left in this season. I think after this I have 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I think it's 8 per season. So, very excited. Happy to watch this. See more Paris. See the hickey. See whatever drama may unfold next. And I'm hoping Ben just keeps getting knocked down because he's fucking annoying. And same with Harry. So, alright. Thank you for watching. I really hope you have been enjoying my reactions. You guys are so much fun watching the show with, to, to watch the show with. I love your comments and I love co talking with you guys in the comment section. So don't forget to comment down below about any of your thoughts. If you want to say hi and press that subscribe button down below because a lot of you guys watch but do not subscribe and it's weird. So just do it. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Why was I about to say bye? Why did I do that? I don't know. Hi waving. Hi. Again, yeah, okay. Here we go before I lose it again. His dad's not responding to him now? Wow. Not excited to meet this dude. <laughs> you could just step out. The rest, the two of them are asleep. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. D did I do that? Yeah. 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 I, I <laughs> yeah. But no one will notice you. Yeah, but they're gonna start questioning. It's I'm gonna be a little sorry, weird. You're gonna have to make up some I kind of lie. Even, I, don't, I don't even know how to do that. To be honest, I'm lying. <laughs> it's so adorably naive. What are you two doing in that? <laughs> how did you get that free song in there? Mm, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you, I cannot no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not that. It's a hickey. Does he think he like beat him with a little finger into this to bruise him? <laughs> Tell. Help me. Heat. Ooh. Uh oh. Is that good heat or bad heat? What? I blame Nick entirely. That's fair. Well, it is. It, it, why is it? It's a, it's a hickey. I don't know why everyone freaks out over hickeys. Who gave you that hickey? That's not ideal. Eh, no, move on. It's a hickey. Not hungry. He hasn't been eating much a while. Is he having like some kind of issues? Okay, we'll let you request some. So if you get hungry later, we'll have a snack. So sweet. The best. So cute. Getting some action. <laughs> Harry? What? No. Just because it's the only good guy. You had Paris. God knows who he's meeting in Paris. Make up a lie of a guy you met. Obviously, you know it wasn't me. Wait, they think he's the only gay guy? What about Isaac? He's clearly gay. Does he, no one know about him? Yeah, you deserve this. All alone. Uh, fun, uncomfortable, bullying, and making fun of. Fun! I'm gonna tell them I'm gonna be pissed off a couple times this episode already, and it's gonna keep happening. Oh god. Every time he does that. We've all been having fun, but we thought this morning would be a good time to remind you why we're really here. To have fun. That's to practice your skills. Yeah. Yeah. Now we'll be putting you in Nick's like, oh, easy. Use some other vocabulary to translate oh. before you start your climb to the top. Okay. Eiffel Tower okay. vocabulary. Starting with Bring and James McEwen. Oh. Oh God. Of course, just to really keep the rumor spreading. Next up is Nick Nelson and Ben Hope. Oh God. Who made these pairings? <laughs> ben didn't deserve that, but damn. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, be pissed. Nick's not gonna take your shit. Next we have Tara and Darcy. Shaka. Oh. She's getting back to those feelings for Tao again. Oh, flying back. Wait, why did you put two people together who don't well, take French? Funny, the point 
people and get a lot of uh people isaac with harry like come on harry where's your basic human empathy right right why does like two people two gay people in a room and it's like ah oh, they you must put them together they must love each other no do you think isaac would think it was me he knows it wasn't you yeah he knows Don't these kids have phones? They could just like look up the answers. Darcy, I want to talk about what happened at the Paris Treaty. Okay. Cartel's proposal. But I still feel like if they just kiss, they'll figure it out. Darcy. No, Darcy, be serious for a moment. She wants to have a real talk. When we... You know what? Mine's. I feel bad for her. She just wants to have real talk with her. Darcy, you need to step up a bit. I know it's hard, but you gotta. You happy? Not right now, at this exact moment. That's Charlie, now wait a minute. You're the one who told her about me and Charlie, aren't you? No, she. They didn't say anything. To like mess up my life. What? Yeah. You were awful to both. You used Imogen for popularity points. Yeah. And you didn't, Charlie. You just liked having control over him. Exactly. Tell him, Nick. What if I said I want Charlie back? I would say Charlie's never going to go back, so... I get it, I was a dick back then, but I was dealing with my Back then? You still kind Charlie of are. Even give up, and then you came along, and you stole him from That's me. not how it happened. Charlie really liked Bullshit. Me. No. At least that was nice enough not to wear everyone could see. Oh my god. Okay, Someone okay? punch this fucker. It's very hot today, <sighs> so make sure you... Come on, then. Nick, do not listen to this douche nozzle. No. Oh no. <laughs> it's me a lot of walking. A lot of steps. Not my thing. That is just no. That is no. It is pretty though. Oh, she's looking so pretty. Oh, poor Imogen. Oh, no. <laughs> She's gonna love that. She is. Hey, Nick. Is that hickey from you, then? Oh, my God. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh. Look. Look, Harry. Okay. First thing Harry's ever said that I've been like... Kind of. Maybe Harry hanging out with Isaac. Good thing? I don't, I don't trust it. It's like, something's wrong. The world's about to explode. You do know it. It was yeah, I think I remember you being there. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, good. <laughs> Let's go find the others. He really just... He does want to be out and be able to just show affection to him. Papa. What kid keeps a phone in the... Backpack, not in the pocket. You don't think things are gonna work out? You He's think so scared. Which is, something did happen. it's already fucked. It's you happened once. That's not ended well. So you don't mess I get up. it. One thing you've messed up. Well, date? yeah, that. My art coursework. Yeah. Your life multiple times. No, that's not true. You're a little aggressive and defensive, but you won't even fucked up his life. I'm basically the reason you got outed last year. What? Really? How? After what happened? To us, I was with Isaac. Someone overheard and oh, we getting bullied every single day. Oh, so that's why he's so protective. He blames himself. Hate me. Like that was clearly an accident. Yeah, it's not like he purposely outed him. Yeah, it's fucked up, but it's not that fucked up. First day of year seven. Hey. Oh, look at cute little Charlie, Charlie and Tao. Do you like Radiohead? Yeah. Ooh, Radiohead. I haven't seen that. I've heard of it. Doesn't it? Leonardo DiCaprio? 
makes me cry like a that I really wanted to be friends with. Are you guilt tripping me into being nice about myself? Even yeah. If things don't work out. <laughs> it, hopefully it even works. Even if you make mistakes, you're a good person. Yeah. Life. He's a good person who fumbles the ball every once in a while. But that doesn't mean you gotta just stop. Wait, isn't that for your neck? Oh, Charlie and Tao. Oh, that's kind of cute. Friendship. It's a little odd, but okay. <laughs> Oh. Guys, come on. We need to get to the loop. Okay, Tao has really been going on me. Understanding him a little more this episode. Yeah. Go make your move, Tao. It's so beautiful. This actually feels less crowded than I feel like it should be. I feel like this place would be way more crowded. What's up? I don't think I really understand any of the art, but it's nice to look at. Yeah. You don't always need to understand That's it true. It. It's, it feels kind of romantic. Hmm. Not everything it's you have to understand. Well. You don't have to understand your feelings completely to know that you like something. Yeah. You don't have to always have figured everything out. You can just go with your feelings. Feel. Yeah. That, that is very sage advice there. Love it. Are you allowed to take photos of, like, in this? Usually, like, I feel like most, I guess, no flash photography. At least. Oh, I'm about to do something cute here. Wait, it's a little cheesy. Holding hands and spinning around. It's a bit much. Mm. I hate that he just sees him and it's like, he feels awful. Like, he genuinely thinks he still has a chance of getting back with you. He doesn't. I didn't realize Ben was such an idiot, too. Actually, I did. Right. God, it like it, I could see the way it affects Charlie, and I don't yeah. like it. Oh no, he's like freaking out. Oh no, no, what's going on? Well, this thing about it, like Ben really, I guess it gives him back to the back when he was with Ben and was being treated awful. Maybe <laughs> that's what it is. Oh, your mom texted you. Oh, what? Wow. Okay. That was intense. Take a photo of this one. Is she? Are they like oh, moving or something? Do you hope, is she not out to her parents? Sometimes I feel like you're hiding I think she I is. Never met your parents. I've never been to your house. And mm, a little fishy. I didn't even want to say I love you back. It was just a casual. I Be honest, girl. You said you didn't mean it like that. Really? Come on. No, I did. So actual. Like back in the day, we were. Hey, Hans. Oh, that was some rough moments here. Tara and Darcy, now Charlie. Uh. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Nah. Somebody get Mr. Farouk. This is cute and all, but we need to get back to Charlie here. Is he okay, I sweetie? This trip would be awful. It makes me want to draw. You should. Yeah. I love what you do. Do it. If you feel inspired, go for it. Those moments don't always come around. I love that he just loves watching her draw. It's cute. They should make more movies in the Louvre. <laughs> I can only think of the Da Vinci Code and oh, you literally yeah. have to tie me to a <laughs> to watch that Okay, chill. <laughs> Aww. Sometimes take the moment. Oh, my God. oh. I'm so uh, sorry. don't freak out. Don't freak out. No, don't. 
It was fine. It wasn't bad. He didn't push you away. Yeah. Aw. Hide from your feelings. Sometimes you just need to express them. Let them out and try it. It might be scary, but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I say this advice as if I take it, but I don't. My fear rules me. Aww. I'm happy that they're getting good now and, like, strong. One of these relationships needs to be. We can't have every single relationship crumbling. I don't see it. <laughs> Go on and do the pose as well. I don't do pose. Do the pose, yeah, do. you got to. <laughs> <laughs> he looks a little like him. Yeah, just really embarrassed. Found them. <laughs> yeah, I just haven't eaten enough today. If you need to sit down, you have to not eat a, like anything to faint like that. Eat. There. Yes. Right, we'll let you chill out a bit. Eat it, please. What's wrong with him? I, I'm worried about Charlie. Is he having like an eating disorder? Is it? Is it? Why is it happening? Is it stress? Charlie. Yeah. Is this like a known thing? A problem? I'm is this sorry. new? I'm really sorry. Hey, no. Don't apologize. I want to understand. I love Nick. I love him. He's so supportive. Great. I want a Nick. So he does have an actual issue. I used to do it a lot. Yeah. Oh, school, really when bad. so stress makes it go a little harder. Sometimes it can control me in my life. Oh. That makes zero sense. You can just forget this. It does make it's, sense. It's not. You're not saying it for nothing. If there's anything that I can do to make things less stressful. Oh. Cheering you on. Yeah. I'm your boyfriend. Do, the question is, do his parents know about this? Does anyone know about this besides him? I really care about you. They got a lot of food. It's a bit dry. <laughs> you are not rejecting the and I lovingly carry you. Yeah, day. all day. Yeah, you're gonna eat it and you're gonna love it. Wow. Whoa, it's so pretty. It's I'm gonna go to Paris. So. Oh, Dad. Ça va? Tu peux le faire? Okay. I love how cute Charlie is listening to Dick do French. And he's like, oh, he's so cute. What? You speak French. You didn't know that? Like, fluently. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like I we've French already French. gone over this last episode. Wait, do you like the fact that I speak French? I think it's a little sexy, I will it's say. Fine. <laughs> Again, this is very risky for someone oh who doesn't want to so be out it. Like, you're, you look like, like you're, you're in a big area with people wa no, can watching from above. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> run. <laughs> you didn't need to run. He just like said stop, and you're running towards him. So. I feel like running in the museum is probably just as bad. Today, never mentioned your dad before. I'm excited to meet the dad. I'm in a little nervous. He's not the most reliable. Guess as much. He's still my dad. So. Hopefully, he's nothing like his brother, but I have a feeling. Introduce you to him. Mm. Yeah. That's both fun and terrifying. Tell each other when we've got stuff going on. Deal. There we go. Communication. Always number one. Aww. When are you actually meeting up with him? And how? Yeah. Solid question. I said I'd meet him in a cafe in 20 minutes. Oh, wow. Like, that soon. A little fast. Whoa. 
Are you allowed to just leave the group like that on a field trip? Hey, it's a little easier to run when you're not holding hands. Do the teachers know you've just left? Did you guys buy tickets? They're so cute. Is the episode about to end right here? Yeah, I, I, I had a feeling. It was, it was feeling like end times with the music and everything. So I guess next episode we're still in Paris and we're meeting Papa. Very nervous about that because if he, I'm guess where did the brother get his shittiness from? Not from the mom. Yeah. And God knows, I don't know if, does he even know Nick's gay? Has his brother told him? How is he going to handle that? What's his father like? He's a French guy. That's all we know. And that he never talks. Daddy issues. Are, we just, daddy issues are fun, aren't they? Relatable. Fun. Love that. We have the whole eating disorder problem dealing with. Which I'm happy it's being talked about because I've been noticing in the past couple episodes how much he's not eating. And I'm happy it wasn't just like a, let's not discuss this because that would have pissed me off. We've discussed it now and I'm hoping maybe he'll talk to his parents. I don't know if his parents know about it. He needs to talk about it and get some help. It's not a thing you just push to the side and hope it gets better or like, oh, it's gone now. So let's move on. Because obviously it happened before and now it's happening again. So, yeah. Also, love that we got a little more about Tao and the, what happened last year without, and Tao blames himself for outing, which technically was his fault, but it was an accident. He didn't mean to. Whoever overheard, honestly, could have just been like, I'm not going to say anything. That person was the real dick, whoever that was. But, um, so I love that the little locket was with Tao and... Charlie, it was like a friendship thing. And then Tao and Ellie seem to be doing strong and happy, and I'm so happy for them. Someone's gonna be doing good. And Darcy and Tara, oh my god, Tara, Tara, Tara. What is she hiding? Do her parents not know she's gay? Um, does she not have parents? I don't know. Orphanage that she lives at? Um, are they racist? I I'm trying to think. My guess is that she's just not out to her family, but she pretty much seems very, like, uh, unless her parents are real old and don't understand anything, it's pretty obvious to tell. But I also get it at the same time. But it, you would think Tara would have noticed something. It, the fact that she's only noticing now that she's never been to her house, when her parents are mentioned, she's never seen her parents, met them, and her parents are... Like, get mentioned. She just switched subjects. You think, you think you would have noticed that a little sooner. They've been together a while now, but I guess we're gonna see more of that. Hopefully, get some answers this season when we get back from Paris. Um, yeah, and Ben being dick as always. So someone needs to punch him. So what? You like Charlie, and you think you could get Charlie back, and you think Nick is has destroyed your life. Because you were an asshole to two people and he like comforted them and helped them out because you were being a dick and made them sad. And they finally stood up to you. I'm sorry you were an asshole. I'm sorry I hate you because you saw that I was an asshole and said something about it. Called me out on it. Oh, sorry Ben. Mm. And the weird little moment with Harry being weirdly protective and nice and defensive for like five milliseconds it's something i'm not giving him a trophy here he's still hairy still don't like the dude but it was something maybe the beginning of something else maybe not maybe it was just a one-time little thing we will see all right that was a very very fun episode i can't wait to see what happens next you guys so i will see you then have a great day bye